Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done an Outfits of the Week video, so I thought it might be nice to bring it back and to shop my wardrobe for next week's outfits. Everything I'm wearing in today's video will be linked in the description below, otherwise I will provide links of very close alternatives. And of course, I will do my best to share ethical and sustainable alternatives. And if you are new here and you do enjoy today's video, then do consider subscribing. It would be great to have you here in this community. Okay, so let's get started with Monday's outfit. Firstly, let's check the weather. Right, so Monday is 15 degrees and raining. Let's go. Okay, so for Monday's outfit, we are starting off with a super comfortable but chic base. I have my fine merino wool high neck t-shirt on. I find that this is such an elegant piece and I love the length of the arms and the little sleeve detail. It is quite fine, so this cream color does need a skin colored bra underneath. I think it's also sold in black and some other colors as well. I've also got my high-waisted long trousers on in this beautiful rust color. As I work from home, I would just wear my comfy slippers, but in case I wanna pop out for a coffee or to run an errand, I have my white trainers. I love the way these trousers look sitting over the top of the trainers, almost like they are slightly too long, but they're actually not. That is the cool kind of relaxed vibe that I'm going for. I'm going to show you two different options for an overcoat. The first is this comfy wool cardigan, which I got a few months ago secondhand. I've also got my little pearl drop earrings on as well, which are a great piece to add a subtle elegance to a look. The second option is this camel coat. This would be ideal if I was actually leaving the house. I love the matchy look as if this was a set, but in fact it's not. It's really easy to try to make our own sets without buying sets new. We can either shop our own wardrobes or shop secondhand and just try to match the colors as close as possible. For Tuesday, I'm putting together a casual jean outfit. I've got my secondhand jeans on from Rollers. These are the high-waisted boot cut. I will try to link them in the description below. They are my favorite jeans this winter because they have a nice high rise so I can tuck everything in and stay warm. And they are long enough to keep my ankles warm as well. I've also got a long sleeve cotton t-shirt on. I actually only discovered the greatness of long sleeve t-shirts about a year ago and I am here for them now. As for shoes, I am popping on my high top Converse. These are okay for like mild rain, so fingers crossed it's not heavy rain. And I am throwing on a 100% wool jumper to keep me nice and warm. Over the top, I've gone for my trench coat and because it might rain, I've also got my umbrella too. I know it's very subtle, but my umbrella has red in it and so do my Converse shoes. And that makes me really happy. For Wednesday's outfit, I am keeping on the exact same base layer. However, I'm going to dress the outfit up a bit. I've gone for my brown leather boots. These have a great rubber grip on the bottom, so they are awesome in wet weather. Over the top, I am wearing my black turtleneck, probably my most reached for piece in autumn and winter and I'm tucking it in all the way around so I stay nice and warm. And because I also love the way a full tuck looks with high-waisted jeans. And then I've added my black overcoat and black bag. I love this smart casual finished look. I would actually often choose to wear black boots with this type of outfit, but I also like how the brown boots here bring a third color into the outfit. For Thursday's outfit, I am starting off with black trousers and a white V-neck vest top. I usually wear crew neck tops, but I really love the shape of this deep V-neck. I think it definitely looks great with a pendant necklace as well. I am putting on my new one from Linear, which is the same brand as my pearl drop earrings. I'll pop the discount code and links for these in the description below. And then I'm also popping on some ballet flats. I also have a discount code for these ones too, so I'll also put that below. I am really going to channel Audrey Hepburn in this outfit with the black cigarette pants and the ballet flats. And just in case the wind is chilly on Thursday, I can layer on top my turtleneck again, which really emphasizes the Audrey Hepburn look. I've tucked the top in all the way around to get the maximum effect from this sleek all black look. I love the finished look, very classy, elegant, but simple. For sunny Friday, I want to wear a bit of color. 
I am wearing my recently thrifted red cardigan. I've wanted a fitted cardigan in red like this for a while and I was so excited to find this sweet one. I'm wearing my high-waisted linen cotton blend trousers. They're cropped with a wide leg. I think this wide leg shape looks great with something fitted on top to balance out the look. I'm adding my Converse to keep it casual. Also adding my moon pendant necklace and a touch of red lippy just because. Sometimes with a casual outfit like this, I love to just add a tote bag instead of a handbag. I see a lot of French girl style outfits just using a canvas tote bag and I love the simplicity and the practicality of it. I really like how Saturday's outfit turns out. I've started with my bone colored jeans from Reformation and my favorite loose organic cotton vest top from Make The Label. This vest top is a really good length. It's not too long, so when you half tuck it, it doesn't look weird at the back, and it's not too short as well, so you can actually tuck it all the way in without it coming out. Over the top, I am putting my absolute favorite oversized sloppy knit jumper. This jumper is so divine and so soft. I love the drop shoulders and the oversized shape. Next, I'm putting on my little beige pumps. So this all beige outfit now needs a little accessorizing. So I'm going to add in some contrast. I'm starting off by pulling half my hair up and tying in a black bow. This black bow I actually pulled off an online order that I received in the post. It was just wrapped around the parcel. I always keep these ribbons for sending out gifts to family or friends, but this time I thought, hey, I could probably put that in my hair. <laughs> and it works. I've then added on my black shoulder bag to match the bow and some hoop earrings. So this look is a cozy but dressy outfit at the same time. I really enjoy mixing opposing style genres with each other to create the perfect balance between being dressy and casual. It takes some time to create outfits like this that you actually feel comfortable wearing, but it's worth just experimenting with different style types and seeing what you can come up with. And this is what makes shopping your wardrobe really fun. I've never created this outfit before. I just played around with it and I just love the way it's turned out. It also looks great with the jumper just thrown over my shoulders. This outfit follows the three color rule. We've got the off white, or beige and black and rust. On Sundays, I often use the day to reset and set myself up for the week. I'll usually go out for a coffee with Alex, maybe pop to the supermarket, do some housework and some meal prep, and of course, a little relaxing before the week ahead. So I am putting together a casual, comfy Sunday outfit with my all-time favorite at-home jeans. These are super soft jeans and they're not too thick. They're my favorite at home jeans because they're really easy to move around in and you can even like snuggle up on the couch in them. I'm wearing a boxy t-shirt that's half tucked and I'm adding my white trainers. I've also added my pink watch. I would probably take my watch off if I was just around the house, but I'm adding it to this outfit because it matches the pink on my trainers. And you know I love me some subtle color matches. I've got my leather tote, which is perfect for errands and a wool jumper around my neck in case it gets cold. If you enjoy outfit styling and slow fashion, you should watch more of my lookbook videos, which are linked on the screen and in the description. I would love to hear what you would like to see more of on my channel. So please do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to spread kindness this week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.